Hello everyone, this is Dynamation4, and we are back to do the rest of our speed spotlight on factorization. It's factorization part 2. So let's get started right away, because there is quite a bit more to cover with this mod. So the first thing we're going to cover are these letters, and what they are is they're sculptures. You can craft them with some clay and a plank, you get a sculpture, you're also going to need some a sculpting tool. And this, you shift right click, you can change its mode, put in a crafting table, it changes its mode even more, to up to four different modes. So you place down the sculpture and it starts out in move mode. You can pull it towards you, shift to push away, change it to sculpting tool. You can yank on it or push on it, squeeze it. Then if you get yourself some more clay, you can pop the clay on and adds another piece. And this piece can move independently. So then you could rotate it. Not the whole thing, just this one piece. Do that. And then you'd have to wait for it to dry, or you can use wool on it. You plop down a furnace heater. You do that, heat it up. And more furnace heaters, get it going fast. Then you can get some glaze. Yes. Choose some glaze. Crafting it is a process, like you have to craft one before the other. So I'm not going to go through all the recipes because there's quite a bit. You can wait for this to cook. There it is. And now you don't need these anymore. And you just choose your color on it, and boom. So then you got this recipe right here, which makes an inverium. Put that in a crystallizer with stone, up to three stone. This gets used up, this does not, and you get a blank logic matrix. You get these in dungeons, logic matrix programmer, put it with some nether quartz, and you get logic matrix identifier. The programmer can be cloned by adding dark iron to one of these uh, program to one of these uh, blank logic matrices. But how do you get dark iron? Is the thing. It's a strange process. You get diamond shards and nether brick. Diamond shards I already showed you earlier with the craft packets. You get yourself a wrath igniter. You use the wrath igniter on some iron, and it has this weird burning animation where it actually is on fire without the regular fire. You let that burn a little bit, and eventually the iron blocks will turn into dark iron blocks that you can mine up. And wait for that to happen. There it is. It's starting to turn. You get blocks of iron, which you can put in a crafting, crafting table and get four iron ingots. So you can make those. You can also get this barrel upgrade that lets you store a lot, lot more stuff in your barrel. And this really cool item called the router, which you made like this. Eye of Ender can be switched with these two, they can be flopped. Um, you can get these upgrades for it too. There is item, fil item filter that's silver. You get the machine filter, get some soul sand, you get the thoroughness, um, blaze powder and eggs can get you bandwidth, sugar and cake gets you obviously speed, and wooden pressure plate, some wood and pistons and stuff gets you auto ejector. So I got a little demonstration over here on what you could use the router for. I have some upgrades in here already. I have, this is the default, you got item filter. This would be the machine filter and speed boost and auto ejector, which I don't really need. And you can press, you can see, press delete to move this upgrade, press delete, comes out. And you'd actually pick up the item. So, what the router does is it looks for nearby inventories and places items in it for you. So, I have all these pulverizers here, and I have a ton of coal that needs to be pulverized. So, we're going to toss it in this chest, it's going to get extracted, put it to the router, and it's going to automatically be put inside these pulverizers. The cool thing is, the router needs no source of power whatsoever. It works entirely automatic, and it'll evenly distribute the, the coal into the pulverizers. It'll get pulverized, and I have this one over here to extract from west sides. You can see the colors on the side, and it seems actually north, north and south are switched, east and west are switched, or it's just north and south, I think. But just look for the colors, and it'll extract them, and I have this to auto-eject west right here so all the coal dust is coming up in here really fast way to process items without needing like a, a rotary macerator just a few pulverizers line them up in a wall you're probably gonna have to change the orientations so that they don't put into each other otherwise you'd have a backup of stuff so almost done here you got the um the wrath lamp which gives out a lot of light if you turn if you set time to midnight you can see that this place is all lit up because i have the wrath lamp, wrath lamp way up there Get the bag of holding, which is a unique item. Um, it holds stuff. 
rolls up to three columns and it stores it in inventory by pressing the tilde key and it rotate through. And you can upgrade this with all this stuff and you can get up to four columns instead of three. Notice it's rotating everything down three but holding three in itself. Well, I did it just barely. Four minutes, 56.7 seconds. Barely under the five minute mark. Um, kind of rushed through the end. I'll show you these bags a little bit more. But it's hard to see with the description here. So if I move over here, it should still work. No, it doesn't. It only takes the stuff to the left and it'll rotate. Store three columns, these ones, inside itself. So if you watch the crafting table, crafting table gets moved down. Now the crafting table is stored. Now it's out, and it just rotates everything through. So it's a pretty useful item. And, yeah, that's factorization. Uh, lots of cool stuff here. You still have the, tr guarantee, not guaranteed, but average triple output from ores. You got the router, which is a really cool item. Doesn't even need power. Um, this is all your routing. And dark iron for all your uses. And that's going to be it for factorization. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll be sure to answer them. Or if you have a suggestion for my next speed spotlight or even regular spotlight if the mod is too complicated, which I'm sure I'll get to at some point, then leave that as a suggestion in the comments. And that's going to be it. Thanks for watching.